It's your boy J-Dub back again. Let's get them. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy J-Dub back with another video. We'll tell you what, today's been uh, pretty interesting. I'm looking up on Twitter, looking to see what the latest news is. And shout out to my man, Mikey Barra. Um, he used to work for Microsoft for a long time. And now he um, he's over at Blizzard, I believe. Um, so he's doing his thing, his thing over there. He, he's running that show over there. Uh, but he has something interesting to say on Twitter, and I'd like to get you guys' take on it. Let's take a look and see what he's talking about. Mikey Barra. He said, um, you know, obviously guys are talking about the 12 T flops and all the power in uh, that Microsoft and, and the executives have been talking for this new Xbox. Uh, officially, the, the name for the new X series or the series X is Xbox. And that's just the latest news. Uh, but Mikey Barra, you know, he finally came out and he's saying, hey, he doesn't work for Microsoft anymore. So he can feel free to say what he what he wants to say and what's on his mind. And as a gamer, he has the right to do that. So he says a lot of talk about power. Power means a lot of things. In my opinion, execs should focus on the games and let the teams execute before setting artificial statements about power. Just puts more pressure on an already stressed team. I get it. Going to be interesting. I hope they all succeed. Best for gamers. So basically, he's saying shut up about all the power and let the games talk. Because when you hype up power, 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 and your games come out looking like Battletoads, or Honey, I Struck the Kids, or Crackdown 3, or State of Decay 2, or numerous other games, you know, especially the lineup from XO19, then people and developers start to, um, you know, how can I say it? They start to get egg on their faces. We've seen this before. We've seen it. Power, 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 and what happens when power uh, doesn't show the fruits? People start laughing. A lot of times people don't buy the console. We can take a look at the Xbox One X. While it is the world's most powerful console, it can't hold a candle to the PS4 Pro or the PS4 Slim. And that is because the developers in the first party um, and the third party have been taking advantage of the PS4 and the PS4 Pro and have really cranked out some hits, especially second party too. So you got to think about it. You know, those exclusives that come out will always look better on, um, you know, with the first party. It'll always look better on that hardware. And maybe Mike sees this, right? He sees a trend in this. And so he's like, look, guys, just shut up about the power. Focus on the games. Stop, you know, letting letting this stuff just overhype, overhype. And what happens when the games come out? It's too hyped, I guess I, I would say that. It's kind of like too hype or you, you're trying to oversell it. And when people see it, it's kind of like, eh. You know, and I get it. That's happened this generation, with X, especially with Xbox. But just, you know, kind of be quiet. Let these guys figure out what they're going to do. It, you know, it's up to them. It's actually up to the developers at the end of the day. It is not about the executives. It's not about how much power this hardware has at the end of the day. It really isn't. Uh, again, look at the Nintendo Switch. So let's see what, what the rest of Twitter had to say about this. Mind you, I'm actually glad that Michael Barber said that because that brought up a whole nother topic. So we had uh, Inja Maru, um, shout out to him from Twitter. He said power doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but Xbox needs the, per uh, he, they needs the perception that it is just more powerful. If it's even a tiny bit less powerful than the PS5, you would never hear the end of it, and Xbox brand would suffer. See, that is spoken from someone, mind you, from the Xbox community that tend to worry more about what the PlayStation fanboys are going to say rather than what they want or what they feel. It's more about... And I'm trying to choose my words wisely uh, because, I mean, I, I know you guys feel where I'm coming from with this. 
but you worry more about what I'm going to say or what I'm going to tease on Twitter or on YouTube than you just enjoying the game and liking the game. And that kind of, we kind of know that that's the case. Let's see what else. Okay. Shout out to JD, J, uh, JP Dunks 4. He said, games ran worse and the Xbox cost $100 more. It was more due to the fact that the focus was on TV and other functions, which caused them to bundle to connect with it, which drove up the price. Also reports Xbox architecture was difficult to use compared to Sony. Lots of issues in the beginning. And you know what? That, that is true. Um, the Xbox One series of consoles this generation um, had issues from the beginning, but mostly, according to this guy and according to myself, and I feel uh, they focus on TV. They focus on the media. It wasn't about the games. They focus on the connect. It wasn't about the games. It was TV, TV, TV. On top of that, the system was $100 more, and it just so happened to be uh, a weaker console. So you can't sell me a, a low horsepower car for more than what I can get a more stronger uh, horsepower to car for. That just makes common sense. And I know a lot of guys don't want to hear that. They want it to be about power so they can have a logical reason on why uh, Xbox didn't do as well this generation. They do not want to agree that it was failures from all of the above. Because why? That would shoot the narrative down that they want to see. Power, power, power. Meanwhile, the world's most powerful console, the Xbox One X, by the way, which only about five to six percent of the actual Xbox install base own, um, haven't really had any games to show it off. Sure, you have one or two, like Red Dead uh, 2, that shows you know a little bit higher resolution, a little bit higher frames, maybe, but in the majority of the cases, uh, it just hasn't been a big difference. Let's see what else Twitter has to say. All right, we got Suicide King. The power doesn't matter narrative started when the X launch. Beginning of this generation was all about power and resolution. It wasn't just fanboys, but the media as well. Every Xbox game that came out had an article about resolution. If Xbox isn't more powerful, history will repeat itself. Again, it's more so, according to him, it's more so about what the media is going to say, what everyone else is going to say. That's what they're worried about. They're not worried about what the system capabilities are. They're not worried about the games. They're worried about the perception that it's weaker. And if it's weaker, they will not want the console. And I think at the end of the day, that's what it boils down to. They will not support a platform that is not the most powerful and that they won't be able to brag about. Uh, mind you, the best looking games right now are on PlayStation, not Xbox, even though Xbox has the world's most powerful console. But to them, it doesn't matter. Games do not matter. It's all about the perception and about getting teased this generation. They're trying to repair and recover from 2013, and they've never been able to do that. And that leads me to this. I want you guys to chime in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that Xbox just, they just, without a doubt, have to have the most, most uh, powerful console, or uh, will it be DOA if they don't? Let me know what you think. Shout it out. Peace.